Okay, Chelsea, there's no way I could read this article before going into this. We all need to experience this together just because the headline is just so That's good. That's the way I prefer it. Okay, good. Okay. Hit me with it. McDonald's turns to sedition act as boycott bites despite PR campaigns. This is in the Malaysia Now, <laughs> posted on November 14th, 2023. This has to do with a boycott due to the Israel invasion of Gaza. Oh, okay. But anyhow, that article headline, I just, I needed to go in this with everybody together. McDonald's turns to sedition act as boycott bites despite PR campaigns. Okay, let's go into this. A revelation by McDonald's that it was working with the government to bring sedition charges against those calling for a boycott in the wake of the Gaza conflict has threatened to mire the fast food franchise in a bigger public relation nightmare, with a rights lawyer expressing shock that the company would resort to the use of controversial laws. The announcement was made on social media by McDonald's Chief Technology Officer Zaid Husman on November 3rd, but only picked up in the recent days with many netizens expressing shock that the company was turning to the government. In the post, which has since been removed, Zaid Husman shared a photograph of him and other senior McDonald's colleagues with the chairman of the Malaysian's Communications and Multimedia Commission, MCMC, Mohamed Salim. MCMC, the internet regulator under the Communications and Digital Ministry headed by Fami Fazil, was recently under fire over its move to block websites carrying news critical of the government. Thanking MCMC for his cooperation to stop slander against McDonald's, Zaid Hasman also announced that 60 individuals would be charged with the Sedition Act. His post renewed criticism against McDonald's, whose bosses have repeatedly pleaded with the public to stop linking it with its franchise partners in other countries, where the company is seen as having taken a pro-Israeli stance. Oh no. Including the move by McDonald's Israel to supply food to soldiers involved in the bombardment of Gaza. McDonald's Malaysia has several times pointed out that it is an independent entity and highlighted its annual contribution to Zakat, hoping to soothe the anger of Muslims in Malaysia who have responded to a popular global boycott targeting cooperation based in the U.S., Israel's main ally which has supplied it with weapons and other assistance in the current war. The company's bosses had also turned to the state, Muftis, and religious scholars while announcing a contribution to the government's humanitarian fund for Gaza. Nevertheless, the boycott trend appears to have continued leaving many McDonald's outlets in the Klang Valley almost deserted even during peak hours. Many videos to counter the boycott have meanwhile backfired, resulting in a flood of comments attacking an oft-repeated narrative by the company that the boycott is hurting Malay Muslim staff. McDonald's latest move to resort to the Sedition Act elicited shock from a prominent rights lawyer. Quote, is entirely bizarre and improper that a cooperation is announcing that 60 people are being investigated under the archaic and draconian law. If anything, criminal investigation and prosecution is under the purview of the police, and it is for the Attorney General to announce. End quote. Zaid Malik of Lawyers for Liberty told business station BFM yesterday, adding the company could have been, quote, ill-advised end quote. Zaid Malik said the Sedition Act had has nothing to do with the accusations against a business entity. Quote, it is clear that McDonald's has a cooperation does not, I think they mean corporation there, does not fall within the ambit of the Sedition Act because it only envisions any sort of seditious statements against the government or any organ of the government. It should not be any business of the state to protect the image of any corporation, added the lawyer. Zaid Malik also said it was probable that the company's decision to turn to the Sedition Act was inspired by the government's own abuse of the act to silence any criticism against it. Malaysia now is waiting for a response for McDonald's Malaysia. There is a bit more to it. Chelsea, do you know what the Sedition Acts generally are for? I googled it. Okay, so, good. So yes, I do. The use okay. of speech or words to incite others to rebel against the government or governing authority. Yeah. So a little bit of context here, which I think that they don't need to put it in here because it's a Malaysian news article. So people reading it are generally going to be from Malaysia and know the cultural background. Malaysia, I believe, is either the first or second largest Muslim country in the world. Most people don't know that. They think of Muslims as being from the Middle East. But the two largest Muslim countries in the world are Indonesia and Malaysia. Oh. So they're identifying strongly with Gazan, which is predominantly Muslim, uh, Palestinians. And that's part of the... There's a lot of boycotts going on in Muslim prominent countries of Israeli-related products. Yeah. And it's been perceived because, you know, McDonald's Israel was providing food to the army that supporting them would be supporting Israel. I mean... 
it's a corporation, so like, yeah, it's not like someone at the head of it is making the decision for the whole world. Yeah, but also Malaysia and Indonesia since the 1970s ish. We covered that in one of the genocide episodes. The transfer of Indonesia, Malaysia is along the same lines to an authoritarian state. So they, they have been very open-handed with their use. They're very prone to using the Sedition Act or persecuting people who go against them. And McDonald's seems to think that they can also use it for corporate backlash. <laughs> so yeah, just I, I found that to be a bizarre headline. <laughs> Yeah, and, I did. Yeah, it's weird. Thing. Anything you wanted to add, Chels? No, I think you said all everything I could ever say. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that gives you 48 hours to digest. Like that that's a lot of background and story that is is just briefly summarized right now. So I'll give you guys 48 hours to do your research and then come back for our Christmas episodes. Yeah. Good luck with that research. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs>